Hello, hello. Hello, Jose. Hello, Dani. Hello, Mr. Dani. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening to all the ones who are connecting right now. I hope everything is fine near your houses with the rain. Because this one has been kind of crazy. <laughs> this rain has been a little bit strange. How are you doing with the rain? I'm sorry? Sorry? I'm sorry? The rain in my house. Yeah, there is. Uh huh. It's very hard. It it is indeed very hard. As well here in my house, it's it's raining really hard. Hello, Christia. How are you? Hello. Fine. How is the very rain good. near your house? Uh, it's raining a lot. It's raining <laughs> a lot. Yeah. It's hard. You can say it's raining hard. It's it's, it's soft. Good, very good. Hello, Jorge Humberto. How are you doing? Good evening, everybody. I'm fine. Thank you. How is the situation with the rain near your house? Uh, it's still raining, but um, softly. Softly, right? <laughs> it's, it's raining softly. Because when you use softly, in this case, it's because before it was raining really hard. And now you say like, no, it, it's softly now. You say that it's not that hard as it was some yeah. minutes before. Uh, I, I need to, to say softly right now or just softly? Well, you can say it is, it's raining softly. You say it's raining softly. Now you can say it's yeah. raining softly now. Porque ahí entendemos, cuando nos dice now al final, entendemos que antes estuvo mucho peor. So you okay. say, it's raining softly now. Softly is suave. Suavemente, oh. like el biscrespo. <laughs> when, <laughs> when you say, for example, eh, in this case, eh, when you add, for example, when the, the song that says, killing me softly. <laughs> Do you remember that, that classic when you yeah. say, for example, in the case of soft, you say softly and you say beautiful, you say beautiful, beautifully, yeah. beautifully. Okay. You say easy. easy, you say easily, and then you add the lead to some adverbs, some, some verbs, and you transform them into uh, adverbs. You say hard, hardly. It's meant. Exactly. Yeah, that's the meaning of this one, right? That you say like it's hard, hardly, and you say it's it's, it's very sad, and you say sadly. Okay, and then you have these endings on the sentences. And it transforms the meaning of it into mente, right? Suavemente, difícilmente, right? Hello, Mr. Manuel. Hello, Hello. Genoveva. Welcome. Hey, we are very happy to have you here. We miss you during the whole week. How are you feeling? ¿Cómo se siente? Very good, teacher. Better, Hello, I was sick, very sick. Yes. 
with COVID, but I, I have some, um, only the cough, so I, I shouldn't speak a lot. Oh, no, 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 don't worry, don't worry. I, I asked for a lot of volunteers, but I am not going to be. <laughs> nice to meet you, Enoveva. It's a pleasure to finally meet you in person. To meet you personally. <laughs> and in that case, say personalmente. Obvious, obviously. <laughs> Obviamente, right? Great. So. Welcome everybody. It is a pleasure to have you here, to have you back in another week of learning. Today we are starting our unit number two. We are going to start talking about a little bit of logistics and we are going to develop a couple of very interesting topics during our classes. Uh, to start the class, we are going to review a little bit of what we did last week and for sure, uh, for this week, we are going to work on section two in the platform, and for sure we are going to work in unit two of the manual, okay? So please for you to have it ready, for you to study in advance, and to start, we are going to work a little bit in, um, in mini groups, and I need you please to share with the group of people that you are going to talk about your weekend. What specific things you did on Saturday and on Sunday? What was something good that happened during the weekend? And what was something bad that happened during the weekend, okay? So think about the activities that you went through this, uh, this last week. And I need you to share about what you did, about the different activities that you did on Saturday and on Sunday. And I need you to tell your group about one good thing that happened to you and one bad thing that happened to you. And maybe if it is not bad, something that you say, oh, I want to tell you about this weekend. For example, a, a good thing that happened to me this weekend, uh, it can be that I met uh, a lot of new people. I had the opportunity to meet a lot of new people because I opened a new group of classes. And something bad that I can say that happened to me this weekend is that I was working on a big project, on a big picture to, to use it in a place and I noticed about a problem with the picture until I had it ready, until I was completed. And I said like, oh no, it's not possible. <laughs> and it was a very big thing. And I, I realized about a mistake until it was completely printed. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> And it was a very expensive thing. <laughs> and there was one letter missing. And it was a very huge thing. It was like $290, the whole thing. <laughs> and it had a mistake. <laughs> and so that was a problem. But thank God I fixed it with the, with the designer and everything was fine. So, but my weekend was very nice. I worked a lot. I work, 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 and work. So... That was my weekend. So this is the example. You are going to go, you are going to have a group of three and the three of you are going to share about the different things that you did, the different situations. And for sure, you will share one good thing and one thing that you didn't like that much about your weekend, okay? So we are going to go to the groups right now. It's going to be a very short activity for you to share together. And we are going to go back in a couple of minutes, okay? Let's go to the mini groups right now. Accept my invitation. You will have groups of three and two groups of two. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, accept my invitations. And here we go. Okay. 
this is a very good activity for you to warm up with your students. And in that, in that way, they can have the opportunity to actually practice with others. Hello, Mr. Omar. Mr. Omar, we are working in mini groups. They are sharing about their weekends and the activities they did. I am going to send you to a group so you can practice uh, with them, okay? Mr. Omar Francisco. Omar, me avisa si le llega la invitación, porfa. Ok. So right now, most of them are sharing. I am going to stop by a couple of groups just to listen how they are practicing. Let's go and check. Hello, Claudita. Hello, Claudita. We are working in groups and they are sharing a little bit about what they did during the weekend. I am going to join you to one of the groups for you to go and share with them. I need it to, to, to I need it to play. I I I wanted to play, but I couldn't. This is a bad. But the 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 good things, many many. I was I was with my family, my daughter, my wife, and we don't visit any any place. So I we we went to the church. And other and other things. Thank you for pay attention. Thank you, Manuel, for sharing. Uh, well, about me, I write it. <laughs> uh, well, I was in my house all the weekend because you know I have a coronavirus. And the little well, detail. I, <laughs> yeah, just because yeah. of that. <laughs> yeah, just, for, just to let you know. <laughs> it's just a little reason, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it's okay because I had the opportunity to spend time with my mom in my own. Uh, I entered at the party. moment of the party. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> did you go to the, the party? party? Did you go to a party? The, pa the party started. Uh, the party with the chatted with my friends in, in the afternoon in the tiendita. Hey. <laughs> in the mini store. Mm -hmm. okay. well, when the when the Niña Mari, <laughs> you went to Niña Mari's place. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, nice. In the rainbow. Ah, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> explaining explaining the distribution channels to Niña Mari. <laughs> Niña Mari, we have to put the store on marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> eh, en de pedidos ya. Yeah, that's a very good idea. That's a very good idea. Logistics. <laughs> I will come back. The weekend. During over the weekend. Uh, what was during over the weekend? What's that? 
<laughs> I I just heard heard about the weekend or the whole week. No, it's just about the weekend, about um, Saturday and Sunday. Something good oh, that okay. happened to you on Saturday and something good that happened to you on Sunday. Okay. okay. So you finished talking. Yes. Yes. Yes, we that, finished. That's pretty good. Awesome. was the last one. Okay, good. Very good. So that was the last one sharing. Yes. Okay, yes. so let's go back to the main meeting then. T-shirt, T-shirt. Yes. Sorry, uh, on Friday, I uh -huh. lost my connection uh, I... driving driving to my house. Oh my <clears throat> goodness. Well, I, we're, uh -huh. I, I live in Zacatecoluca. Oh my God, and, and it was raining very hard. <laughs> yes, it was raining. Uh, living San Salvador. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, during the week, I I live in San Salvador, uh -huh. but on Friday, oh, I travel to to my downtown. Okay, so yeah, I I travel to my hometown. You said I travel hometown. to my hometown. To okay. my hometown. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We don't know. Sorry for I think I have a What? Wait. I think I have feedback. I don't know where is it coming from. Okay. Can you listen to me now? Yes. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I think there was a feedback. And no sé si alguno de ustedes tiene el dispositivo o tiene dos sesiones en el cerca. No. No. Okay. Good. So hopefully it's going to fix soon. Well, welcome back my dear class. I was listening to your stories there of the things that you did and how, how you spend your weekend. I just entered to very exact moments on some meetings that I went to a party. So like, hey, how nice. <laughs> so, but hey, thank God we are back. Well, it has been such a pleasure to share another week with you. I have full house today. That's pretty awesome that I have a lot of students today in class, right? Well, so as we remember, welcome to your week number two, remember class. Last Friday, I was checking there like at midnight, come on. Algunos a medianoche andaban haciendo la plataforma. No, <laughs> that, that is not from God, <laughs> definitely. It was early the next day. <laughs> I was like, ah, ah, ¿qué pasó? <laughs> no, remember we have this the This is complete... not good, teacher. No, no, it's not good. People I work <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> I work at six on Saturdays. <laughs> And you were like, hey, see, ¿qué pasó? Hagamos la plataforma entre todos. No, come on. Remember, we have from Monday to Friday to finish the sections. So please work on that every day. If you have difficulties, ask, right? Check on the manual, right? If you want to advance, check a little bit on the manual or ask me, right? But please advance during the week. Remember that you have until Friday at midnight to finish the exercises. Try to pay attention to the exercises and try to finish. This week, we are going to do the review on Thursday. Okay, hicimos la review el viernes pasado, por si todavía faltaba algún ejercicio, y na, a la una de la mañana. <laughs> Haciendo lo ejercicio. No, 
living the adrenaline the adrenaline yeah. you love the adrenaline <laughs> I, I i i studied the deadline yeah <laughs> al filo del peligro <laughs> <laughs> so please students do the exercises during the week remember if you have questions ask me in this week we are going to be working section number two and please advance a little bit if you want to advance more. We have also the midterm exams. So you can start working on those for you to have a, for sure in advance, everything done. Remember that all your homework and evaluations should have at least 80%, right? 80% uh, development before a, before we finish. So please, I am going to keep on checking, try to continue working on that one. Please remember as well that your name has to be completed on the platform. They have to, you have to show your name oh. on Zoom, sorry. You have to show your name on Zoom and uh, exactly as it is on the way, right? Remember to keep your cameras on because it is also evaluated when they check on the video. Uh, to see do your attendance to classes and everything, they check also that you have your camera connected. So in this case, remember to have it on. And as well, remember your attendance to classes is very relevant. You need to be connected all the two hours of the class. And for sure, every single day, I am going to assign a person to a stay at the end for 10 minutes for you to have your one-on-one -on -one sessions, okay? It is only 10 minutes of, of assistance that we cover together. Today, I am going to have Jose Carlos in the one-on-one -on -one meetings, right? Jose Carlos is for okay. today. Okay. And okay. I am going to have, tomorrow, I am going to have, a, let me see, Jose Rodrigo on Wednesday, Juan de Dios. On Thursday, Linda Yvette, and on Friday, Manuel Antonio. Okay, those are the different one-on-one -on -one sessions that I am going to have this week. So please, if you have a specific questions for your day, send me a message and tell me, teacher, today I want to work on this one, or today I need you to explain me this, and you can advance on your topic, okay? But send it to me during the day so I can prepare something to explain to you on your one on one. Si tienen un tema específico que ustedes quieren desarrollar en su uno a uno, envíenmelo temprano en la mañana. Yo les investigo lo que quieran saber de ese tema y lo tratamos al final en su sesión uno a uno. O si tienen algunas cosas específicas que quieran trabajar, igual las podemos trabajar el día que les toque su sesión uno a uno. Al finalizar la clase, igual les voy a enviar el orden. Ya les mencioné, hoy le toca a José Carlos, mañana a José Rodrigo, miércoles Juan de Dios. Jueves, Linda Yvette, y viernes, Manuel Antonio. Okay? So, let's work, my dear students. Today, we are going to cover um, a little bit of logistics, as I said before. I'm going to call the attendance so we can start working in an organized way, okay? Remember, when you listen to your name, say here or present. Miss Carolina Jamilet. Present teacher. Claudia Maria. Present teacher. Lisa Natalie. Present teacher. Uh, let me see. I have here, I'm going to stop sharing so I can see all of you. Uh, Diana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Linda Yvette. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. Maria Genoveva. Present. Miguel Angel Dominguez. Present teacher. Present. Thank you very much. Let's continue with Nelson Gavarreta. Present teacher. Norma Carolina. Normita. Normita, Normita, ah, Normita is not here right now. Eh, Olga Marleni. Present teacher. Rocio Veronica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Present. Silvia Zuleima. Present. 
Tatiana Michelle. Present teacher. Bill Maivet. Present teacher. Marlene Nicole. Present. Eh, Omar Francisco. Present. And Danny Anthony. Present teacher. Perfect. Okay, I am just missing Normita to have the perfect attendance today. I only one. <laughs> well, let's work, my dear class. So uh, we talk about the highlights of the day in the little groups. I wanted to have everybody talking today. I wanted to have everybody participating on the activity because it's Monday, right? And on Mondays, we all participate. I am going to ask, uh, let me see. I am going to ask my volunteer of the agreements day. I am going to have Silvia and Silvia with the first five and Rocio, Veronica with the next four. Go ahead. Okay. Class agreements. Practice your English as much as possible. Second, ask for help when needed. Three, keep your cameras on all the time. Four, keep microphone off if we are not using them. Five, attend all your sessions on time. Very good. And let's continue with the next ones. Okay. Participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude during class. Collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group and work on the platform every day. Very good. So we were sharing with the classmates about what we did last week, right? And we covered this one with the complete class. Thank you very much for sharing. Today, we are going to study with the seven R's of logistics. Have you ever heard the term of the seven R's? No, no, we are going to check it out today. No, because we are going be, to be talking about different products for sure. Well, welcome to week number two. Remember to finish the content of section two on the platform before Friday. It is very important. Okay, we covered the attendance already, and we are going to start with a little bit of practice. As last week, we were talking about comparing different things to talk which things are better and. Uh, when you can compare the things as, as, right? Not as, and we can share it in the affirmative or the negative way. I have here different topics, right? I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 topics. I need you to choose three, three topics. And I need you to talk a little bit comparing the two things presented. Okay, you can say, for example, um, I want to compare... Uh, television and YouTube, right? I consider that television is a lot better because you have a whole variety of activities and things to watch. You have a lot of channels and it's very nice. YouTube is not as good as TV because uh, you have these announcements all the time and I don't like them. And you have to be, do you want premium? Do you want premium? And they say, no, 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 no. Yes, 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 depending. So. I compare television and YouTube. And you tell me, what do you think of both? And what, and what do you think? Which one is better? Which one do you prefer? So I need you to choose at least two or three topics and write a little bit of what you think of both, uh, creating a bit of comparison between them. Okay, I have here cats and dogs, the moon and the sun, Asia and Europe, August and January, math and English, bicycles and cars, sharks and tigers, coffee and milk, television and YouTube, McDonald's and KFC, rain and snow, taxis and buses, trains and airplanes, Spain and Thailand, baseball and golf, weekdays and weekends, teachers and students, breakfast and dinner, flowers and trees and books or iPads. Choose at least three and write what you consider about the topic. Try to compare or contrast or try to make this, um, I don't know if you consider that they are one is good as the other one, you can also mention it. So 
choose the ones that you want. Two or three. Go ahead. I need you to write it on your notebook because later you are going to read it. Write it down. Write it on your notebook. What do you think of this? Try to compare, contrast. When you finish, please raise your hand on the platform and leave it up. Thank you, Genoveva. So what I want to do, I I am going to do with this. Okay. I, I, I <laughs> okay, Genoveva, sorry that I forgot that you were not in class on Friday. What you need to do is to choose three of the topics that I have presented, and I need you to compare the objects that are on each of the categories. For example, you can say cats and dogs and you are going to write a little comparison between them. And you can say, well, I consider that cats are a lot better than dogs because they are more loyal, they are better, they are more intelligent, et cetera. And then you choose a different one and you compare or contrast and you choose another one and you compare or contrast. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. And for the other ones, as they were here last week, you can use words like a, to put things in the same category, right? As and as is not as, unlike this one. So you can use also different expressions of uncertainty or certainty with your sentences. Remember to raise your hand when you finish.
Yes, Genoveva? You have them. Okay. We are going to share in a moment. Okay, Vilma, Diana, very good. We're going to share. I'm going to wait for a couple of more to finish. Thank you. Okay, good, I have many more now, very good. Let's start with Vilma. Can you please help me to share, Vilma? Which ones did you choose? Cats and dogs. Okay, cats and dogs. And which other? An iPad uh -huh. and, train, yeah, and airplanes. Very good, go ahead, share your comparisons. I consider cats is better than dogs because cats are more independent and intelligent. Okay. Okay, intelligent, uh, you say, because you cannot uh, make adjectives plural. So you cannot uh, say intelligence, bigger, right? You say they are more intelligent. I'm more intelligent. And the next one? I prefer read books and physics. Um, no iPads, uh, because I like it. Enjoy the experience. You enjoy the experience of reading physical books, you say. These are physical books. And online books are the ones that you can read on the computer. Or ebooks, okay. right? Uh -huh. The next one? Uh, travel in train is more exciting than travel in airplanes. You can, you can enjoy the landscape. You can enjoy the landscape, right? On the airplanes too, it's very beautiful. When you see all the way down, it's very fantastic. It's scary, yeah, but, uh, but fantastic. Yeah, but uh, it's always uh, see the same. And, <laughs> yes. And the train, no. <laughs> yeah, mostly on the airplane you see the clouds. <laughs> Clouds, 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 clouds. But then the first time is very exciting, but uh, <laughs> the, a lot of times that that not that much. <laughs> okay, thank you, Vilma. Thank you, claps for Vilma. Very good, Diana. Go ahead. Okay, I choose a topic similar <laughs> to Vilma. I choose cats and dogs, and books and iPads, and rain and snow. Okay. Okay, um, the first, people don't like cats, but I think that cats are as beautiful and sweet as dogs. They are also loyal and they care about their owners. And the second, I believe that rain is more dangerous than snow and more natural disasters happen when it's raining. Yes. <laughs> For the last, books are better than iPads because you can have a real experience of what, is re of what reading is and also buy a book is cheaper than buy an iPad. An iPad. <laughs> buying, buying a book is cheaper than buying an iPad. Indeed, it is. <laughs> Thank you very much, Diana. Claps for Diana, very good. Let's go with Christia. Christia. Okay, I'm true. I choose. I chose. Uh, I chose the topic cats and dogs. Uh, KFC and McDonald's and travel in January and August. Okay. Uh, the first one, the cats are lazier than dogs because they really enjoy sleep. Yes. <laughs> the KFC. You see a good example. Yes. <laughs> He's asleep in there. The hamburger. For me, the hamburgers of KFC 
are cheaper than McDonald's. Yes, they are bigger as well. Yes, and the last one, I prefer to travel in January instead of August because the offer of flights are cheaper. Hey, that's very good. So you see, yeah, in January after Christmas, all the, all the flights are cheap. That's yes. pretty awesome. Very nice. Thank you, Cristia. Very good job. Mr. Jorge. Okay, teacher. I, I chose cat and dogs. <laughs> Very famous, that one. Coffee and milk, and bicycles and cars. Uh, the first one, uh, the cat is small than the dogs, but the cat is as smart as the dog. The second one, I prefer coffee than the milk. In fact, I don't like the milk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the bicycles is cheaper than the cars, but the risk the drive bicycles is bigger than the cars. Okay, yeah, it's true. Something curious that I, I, I noticed in, in some of the, the sentences that you created, you say like the bicycles is say the bicycles plural remember mm -hmm. and uh, this is in general are okay uh, or you say uh, having an, a bicycle or riding a bicycle that it's in singular is more dangerous than riding than driving a car or you can say bicycles are more dangerous yeah. than cars okay <laughs> or a cat is a cat is smaller than a dog. Yeah, but this is only one. But if you make it in general, you say cats are smaller than dogs. Okay, thank you very much for my volunteers of the night. Very good job. Claps for Mr. Jorge. Very nice. I don't know why, but it is very common that every time that I use this example, most of my students choose cats and dogs. All of them. And that's a very common thing. Yeah, Mr. Juan de Dios. Tell me. Uh, cats and dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, both of them are beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, I prefer uh, dogs because uh, they take care of the house and are more friendly and are more intelligent. They are more, more friendly and more intelligent. Remember, more intelligent. adjectives cannot be plural. No podemos decir friendly, es intelligence, right? Los adjetivos nunca son plurales, acordémonos. <laughs> and that's good. Very good, Juan Antonio. Juan, Juan de Dios, Juan Antonio. Ya ando, ya estaba leyendo a Manuel Antonio que está justo abajo de Juan de Dios. Thank you very much. Silvia Suleima, you will be my final volunteer of the night. Go ahead. Uh, okay. <clears throat> um, I choose. A I book chose. Apple. I chose a book and iPod. And I consider that read a book uh, in paper is um, similar to uh, read or to use an uh, iPad. I consider read a, a real book. Uh, is a special experience. Yeah, reading a real book is a very, I think it's a very fantastic experience, right? It is nothing considered than having a small book. I have a very good example right here. I have a small book here. <laughs> there is nothing like reading a very good book. I have here that this is for Mr. Mark Twain. <laughs> So oh, yeah, it's a whole experience to have a real what book. What did you make the, the book, kitchen? This one. These are five novels of Mark Twain. Five novels. It has five different novels. I love reading. I am a, a bookworm, right? I, I love a lot reading. So thank you, Sylvia. It is nothing compared, right? Having a, a real book. And Mr. Manuel? What is your comparison? Okay. Thank you, teacher. First, uh, mention is one one book of Mark Twain because the name song. Ah, you you you. Well, the names wow. of the books are. I'm going to tell you the names. 
this one has a uh, Tom Sawyer, the Prince and the Pauper, yes. Huckleberry Finn, uh, the King's the King Otters, and Pumphead Wilson. I have Thank you. these five the, books. The three you mentioned, the the first one, the second one, that's it. I I I I you have read I already, them. I already read in ebook and a physical book. Hey, that's pretty awesome. The adventures, very fantastic adventures. The adventures of Tom yeah. Sawyer. They are very nice. Huckleberry uh, Finn. Okay, uh, I choose. I chose. Thank you. I choose bicycle, bicycle, bicycles, bicycles, and cars. Uh, I like the bicycles uh, because we they they aren't pollution. They don't cause pollution. They don't cause as pollution. As much pollution. As much pollution. Uh, as cars. As, as cars, cor correct. But the bicycles. Bicycles. Are, bicycles are, are not fast as the car. Okay, bicycles are not as fast as, as fast. the cars. Okay. And the, the last one. Uh -huh. the, the rain and snow. The snow is is as dangerous as rain. The snow is as dangerous as rain. Indeed, it is because it causes a lot of accidents. The snow Accident. causes a lot of accidents, and rain causes a lot of damage. So it's there. One is as dangerous as the other one. Yes. Thank you but, very much, Manuel. But, yes. But the 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 rain is not cold as the snow. Rain is not as cold as the snow. Yes, <laughs> it is. It is very. It's it's really. It's it's a it's a truth. Okay. So thank you very much. Clap for Manuel. Thank you for sharing. Do you know, my dear student, what a logistician is? Do you have any idea of what a logistician is? It's like a program. Yes, it's like a program. Logistics. It's related to logistics. A logistician. logistician. It's a human. It's a, uh -huh. it's a sequence. It's a sequence. Hey, no, it's not a, a sequence of things. A logistician is a person. Oh, a logistician. A logistician. A physician, for example, a physician, it's a person who works with the body and helps you when you need to move, right? And helps you when you need to exercise. But a logistician, it's a person that it's in charge of what? Logistics. Logistics. Logistic. Very good. Yeah, for sure. It's a person who obviously. is in charge, obviously, is <laughs> it's in charge of logistics. And for sure, it has different uh, uh, it has different obligations in the company. It has different processes that the person needs to cover. What is the first process that a logistician covers? For sure, it develops business relationships with suppliers and customers, right? It's the one in charge of building all these ideas and relationships. What is the second one? Can you help me to read the second one? Work to understand customers' needs and how to meet them. Okay, the logistician work to understand customers' needs and how to meet uh, them. What about the next one? Direct the allocation of materials, supplies, and products. Okay, direct the allocation of materials, supplies, and finished products, right? The logistician is the one in charge of everything. It's the head, it's the master over all the process, right? The next one. Vianita, help me with the next one. <laughs> Design strategies to minimize the cost or time required to move goods. Okay, design strategies to minimize the cost of the cost or time required to move goods. 
right? It designs this strategy to take the product to the customer in the shortest time possible. What about the next one? It says, review the success of logistical functions and identify areas of improvement. So the logistician is also the one that is checking that all the process is working and a, he or she, he or she, because we have both now, check if we need it areas of improvement and they work to find this type of improvement. The next one, present performance data to management, right? This logistician also takes care of all the data, all the process, all the numbers, and it takes them for sure to the managers for them to work with these numbers. Manage the next, uh, yes. management. Yes. To management, it's like el manejo, la gerencia, all this, the, all this process, right? Okay. To management, para el manejo de esta misma. Uh, the person, for sure in charge of this one, propose improvements to management and customers. If he has a better way to do something, for sure, he's, he or she is going to implement it. And the last one, state current on advancements in logistics and technology and incorporate new technologies into procedures, right? This person is the one that it's all the time. This person is updating all the time with the best things to take to, uh, to the company. That's a logistician. I think it's a very difficult uh, position in the company because it requires a lot of detail, a lot of practice, a lot of, it, it, it has to be someone that it's a whole perfectionist because he has to take care of every single detail. Do any of you work in logistics people? No? No, no, no. no. What's the question? Something related to logistics? I'm a production planner. I don't I think it's, a, it's related with... With logistics. Yes. Because you have to be... I mean, you have to know everything about the company. How is it working? How much you are going to produce? How you are going to do it? <laughs> you have to yes. take care of all these things. Yes. They are like little... They are like little, uh, little machines, right? That they work together. And if one process is damaged, all the other processes are going to be affected. Yes. So, I, I, so Christia uh, understands all these, um, all these uh, processes and all these uh, obligations and all these uh, lines that you have to follow in order to reach the process of a product, right? So here, is when we are talking about logistics. We invite the seven arts of logistics. And the seven arts of logistics involve these processes that I show you here. The right product. What is the next one? Right customer. The right customer. The next one? The right time. The right time. Right. The, right the, place. Right place. the right place, the right condition, the right quantity, and the right cost, and the right cost. Remember when you were when you were creating your products, you were thinking and you say like, hey, we are going to sell makeup, we are going to sell shampoo, we are going to sell ice cream, we are going to sell different things. You are going to say coffee. So you had the right product because you were thinking about the right customers. Where are we going to sell them? You needed the right place. You also needed for sure the right time. What time you were going to be offering if you were going to create announcements for this. So the right timing. Also, you needed to think about the right condition of the product the right quantity because you were saying no we are going to sell different sizes of coffee different sizes of shampoo for the customers and for sure the last one and the most important is the right cost have you ever and i am going to take you back to the groups because you are going to discuss the topic that i am going to tell you right now have you ever experienced the process of getting a product 
that didn't meet any of these requirements or some of these requirements? Have you ever experienced getting a product that didn't meet any of these requirements or a specific requirements on the seven R's? I am going to give you one example. One day I, I got a catalog, right? And I was searching on the catalog and I got a product. On the catalog, the product was the perfect product. And I said, eh, I want it. I really want to have it. It was a bag. It was a purse, right? Era una cartera. It was a purse. And I said, I want to have it. It was, everything was perfect, right? The product, the color, everything. So I was the right customer. And they say like, eh, when are you going to have it here? And they say, no, at the end of the month, the right time, I said, because I am going to have money to get it. So they said that they were going to take it to my house and everything. I got the product, but the thing is that I saw the purse on the catalog that was really big and very nice and spacious and everything. But when I got it, it was a very small thing that I, as if it was for a little girl, it was just like this. <laughs> so it was not the right product that I saw on the catalog. It was not the right price or the right cost because I pay a lot of money for it. And it was a very small thing. And I said like, hey, come on. <laughs> I could barely put my cell phone in it. And I was like, <laughs> it was very small. For sure, I didn't get the right space in the product. It was not the right quality that I asked for. So for sure, I was very disappointed with that product. Yeah. Have you, uh-huh. Uh, I'm sorry. This? May I, may, may I share with that, with you in, in um, I, I had um, a specific uh, interest with, with you, with your example. Uh -huh. Because uh, in my, in my work was a, a woman that, that she, she sells by Carolyn. <laughs> Ah, uh -huh, yeah, the ones and that I, we know. Yeah, and I choose. Uh, uh, I chose. I chose uh, one product in a lotion. A perfume, a perfume. A perfume, thank you. A perfume. So she, she, she had, uh, what do you say, muestra? Uh, it was um, an example. She had a, an example, right? Uh, okay. a sam they call it samples. Uh, okay. Samples. A and sample. A sample. Okay. And I, I told, I told her, wow, smell very, very well for, for my wife. Ah. <laughs> okay. At the end of the month, the product. Uh, at the end of the month. So when when she gave me when she gave me gave me thank you when she gave me uh, I I was what do you say contento Sorry. happy I was happy <laughs> okay uh, I I I I run for my my house and and I and I I I say to my wife look I, I have a present for you. I have a present. When she abrió el producto. Open it. When she opened open it. it. What surprise. The bottle is empty. The <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. The yes. bottle was empty. Was empty. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Not the <laughs> bottle. Yeah. There, there, wasn't, there wasn't anything on it. Oh my God! <laughs> so, but did you did you ask for a payback? Did you ask for your money back? Uh, I I I was apologize with the sale because uh, she may she may think talk talk. She might have thought. Uh huh. Um, can you what I? It's a joke. Like, I, I, I like. That you, that you use it all. 
<laughs> yes, I, así lo dejé. Oh my God. <laughs> well, so you see, this is a good example of something that was not the right product. It was not the right condition. It was not the right delivered. For sure, it was not the right cost. And for sure, the customer was affected. Just to go a little bit in detail, I am going to show you a bit of this once and then we're going to go and work. And it says, better logistics management requires planning and handling complexities efficiently. This is important, not only for reducing the possible inconsistence in the supply chain, but also for cutting the extra costs. One of the most important concepts in logistics management is the concept of the seven R's of the seven rights. These seven rights laid the foundation of the smooth functioning of all the process from creation to the procurement of goods to customers. So the idea of having a perfect chain of produce, we need to follow the seven R's or the seven rights that are the ones that I show you here. So once you put a product on a business, you have to know and you have to follow this process of the seven R's for you to know that you have accomplished all the needs of the consumer. And what is the meaning of each of them? We are going to cover the meaning of each uh, of this right. What is the definition of right product? Tatiana, Michelle, can you help me to read this one? Yes, teacher. A right product. Any company that provides a service must clearly specify the type of product that it will deal with and which is, is ready to transfer and, know, and knowing the product. You want to deal, it will help you save a lot of time and resources and even manage manage it with proper uh, guidance. Guidance, thank you. Okay, so thank you very much, Tatiana. Remember any company that provides a service, you have to clearly specify the type of products that it will deal with and which is ready to transfer and knowing the product you may want to deal with, it'll help you save a lot of time and resources, right? You need to be clear about the right product that you are managing. What about the number two, the right customer? The right customer, Claudia Melendez, can you help me to read the right customer? Okay, thank you, Claudita. Remember to put the microphone closer so we can listen to you better. The right customer, right? The most important steps. This is one of the most important steps because you are going to know exactly who are you going to deal with following the direct and appropriate service to the right customer, for sure. If you are going to sell candies, what is going to be the right customer that you are going to look for? Kids. Yeah, the children. children. The children, the children, right? But what happens when adults see candies? They like candies. They like it. <laughs> okay, they like it. What happens when an adult goes to a piñata? What happens when you go to a piñata? And you are like, ah, the candy. They fight for candies. You fight for candies, right? <laughs> so it is not, it is I'm not crazy. only, it is not only for adults. Maybe it is candy. going to be, for sure, passions for candies, right? And la piñata dice, cuidado, es que ahí va la señora con la bolsa, quítense, niño, <laughs> to have all the candy. Con la pata del muñeco. <laughs> Señora, dele los dulces a los niños. No. <laughs> and then you go with your candy. So if you, uh -huh. if you want to sell, for example, cars, which is the first customer that you are going to spot? Cars. Men. Men, right? Man. If you want to sell motorcycles. Men. Uh -huh. If you want to sell uh, groceries. 
or products for the kitchen? Women. Women's. Women. Women's doesn't nah. exist. Say women. women. But now, nowadays, it is for everybody. I have friends who are chefs and they love cooking and everything, and they get very excited about these new things, right? So people who love cooking, right? It can be the first market, people who love cooking. If you say, for example, that you are going to sell a makeup and beauty products. More people. <laughs> women. <laughs> For women, right? Women. Women, yes. no, like right? This. I had a friend teacher that he, he liked. Yeah. <laughs> we, we have a little bit of everything. Well, but if you are going no. to sell, if you are going to sell body care products, it's for everybody. Because I know, I know a lot of uh, men who love to take care of their skin, who love to take care of their hands, of their feet, and they are very careful about this. It's not as exclusively for the ladies, right? But makeup, yes, makeup, yes. Uh, and well, <laughs> depending, <laughs> depending. I have I have some friends who love this powder. It's like es para que no me brille la cara. <laughs> It's kind, of weird. it's kind of weird yeah but it's 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 yeah it's for everybody <laughs> nowadays it's for everybody so but you know that you need to have the right customer the right customer if you are going to um to sell like books and not books and things for the classroom and all that your right customer will be the teachers and the students right because they are going to be the ones that are going to buy the product. What about number three? Vilma, can you help me to read number three? Right condition. In order to be able to make, maintain, maintain of your products, stretch with Reference to its specific, specific specifications. Specification on the appropriate appropriate Okay, I am going to read it again. Vilma had some connectivity issues and we couldn't listen to some words, but I am going to read it correct for everybody. And it says, in order to be able to maintain the condition of your products or your items well, you need effective storage. As each product is stored with reference to its specifications and placed on the appropriate facilities to maintain its condition and quality, and thus deliver them in a right condition. Danny, what is the importance of having the products in the right condition? Um, the card. Uh -huh. <laughs> welcome the back. The no. Welcome no. back, Danny. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. You know, I am checking on everybody to see if you are paying attention, if you are not paying attention, if you are like, ah, ah, what's going on? <laughs> what is the importance of having the products in the correct condition? Imagine if I sell ice the cream. Customer are happy. The customer will be happy. The case of Manuel, for example. Manuel <laughs> received a perfume that was empty because maybe the product was not storage correctly and it just evaporated because it was not uh, placed in the correct storage uh, setting. What about the ice cream? What do you think it's going to be the problem if I storage the ice cream in an incorrect place? It will melt. It will melt. And what are you going to give to the customer? Milk. Milk. <laughs> <laughs> milk <laughs> melted ice cream right <laughs> what about a uh, food if you sell fresh vegetables what is the best condition that you should keep 
cold conditions. In cold conditions, right? You should refrigerate them. But what about if you imagine if you have lettuce and you are going to sell lettuce to the supermarkets and you have them there in boxes? <laughs> For sure, they are going to be horrible at the moment of taking them to the customer. And they will say like, no, si están frescas las lechugas. <laughs> <laughs> they all dead, right? Imagine if you are going to sell, I don't know, if you're going to sell something really delicate as a cream cheese, right? And you don't put them in the refrigerator. It will be like, mm, very delicious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they will be very horrible. So that is the importance of the right condition. And for sure, you have to follow the specifications of the product at the moment of keeping it safe. What about the next one? It is the right place. Christia, help me. The right place. Service providers will need to have drivers who are fully familiar with delivery options, along with the importance of providing tracking, tracking system, which must be provided to the service owner and the customer himself, and thus provide the availability. 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 Ability to track the location and thus ensure that all products are delivered in, in their correct place. Uh -huh. This is a very important part. What happens when you order food and you don't give the right specifications of your house? What happens? Thanks too much time. Uh, to get delivered and, exactly. and uh -huh. sometimes uh, and the sometimes the customer get uh, angry because a lot of time okay you have to wait for a lot of time the delivery person gets lost and you get angry because you are hungry and when you are hungry you get angry and mm -hmm. then <laughs> you fight with the with the uh, with the place you call the restaurant and say like, where's my food and everything? No lady, you, you, you took yeah, 30 minutes. They say, and it's one it hour free. and it's free. Not as free. <laughs> I think it's not free anymore because of these problems. Yeah. And they say like, you said that it was house number 20 and I am here in front of house number 20 and maybe your house is 27. It's like, Ah, yeah, I know la mía la 28. I'm sorry. And the person is outside, right? For a long, long, long time. What happens if the person doesn't know the city? If the person doesn't have access to the internet, the person doesn't have Waze or any, or Google Maps or anything. What is going to happen with the products? They are going to disappear they are going to get lost. So in this case, that's why the right place, it's a very important R on the process. What about the next one? Right time, Genoveva, can you help me to read the right time? Right time. When talking about logistical services, we find that time is one of the most important elements especially since all customers pay great attention to the delivery time and the presence of any delay or defect in it may cause you the loss of customers. Exactly like that. When talking about logistical service, we find that time is money. Time is money, definitely. You, so you have to pay special attention to the delivery time the presence of any delay or defect, it might cause you the loss of customers. What happens when you get a bad product? Do you go back to the place again? No. Definitely, no. definitely not. No. Definitely no, not, no. right? Have you ever experienced, and raise your hand, have you ever experienced uh, receiving bad food in a restaurant? Raise your hand. That you say like, mm -mm, I will never go back to that restaurant because the food was horrible, you say. Have you ever experienced a bad internet service? 
Claro, claro. <laughs> and then you say, I am never coming back to this company. Claro you... que sí. Yes. <laughs> of I course, you. you say. <laughs> of course, yes. <laughs> Have you ever experienced uh, going for some pupusas and in the end they were really horrible? Yes. Yes, and I am never going back to that place. Have you ever experienced bad customer service attention in a place? Yes. Yes. So you are not invited to go back. You are not invited to say like, ah, oh, yeah, I am going to go back tomorrow. No, for sure not, right? Because time is money. And if you affect any part of this process, for sure, your customers are going to disappear. And they are never going to go back to your place again. The next one, Juan de Dios, help me to read the right cost. The process of praising services is a very important thing as each service must have an appropriate price that covers costs while achieving a profit margin, even if it is simple and good storage systems and continuous updating of prices will help you gradually. Gradually? Increase, gradually increase your profit margins. Okay, the process of pricing services is a very important thing. As each service must have an appropriate price that covers costs while achieving a profit margin, even if it is simple and good storage system and continuous updating of prices will help you gradually increase your profit margins. So, for example, if uh, you are producing what? Let me see. Imagine that you are producing this type of boxes for products and the cost of the box is 10 cents. Imagine. But you say, well, because of the person that is included, because all the process, because the management, the publicity or everything that I pay, I think when you divide all the expenses, you say, well, I think $1, it's a very good price for the box because I can cover all the needs of my product. But imagine that you only spend 10 cents. It is easy to make. You don't pay anything else. And you don't spend a lot of money, but you say $7 for the box. Do you think people are going to go and say like, give me 20? Definitely. You know? <laughs> because maybe there is another company that it's uh, choosing the right price for the product. And you're going to say like, eee! no le pierde. <laughs> with, that, uh, with, that, with that type of price. Have you ever experienced getting a product that you consider that it was not that, I mean, big to be that expensive? Or have you ever paid a really high price for a product that later on you found out that it was cheaper in another place? Many products. For example, a motorcycle. <laughs> cars, cars, cars of the year 2000 clothes. clothes also you know i had an masks. experience masks yes do you remember when the covid was starting <laughs> yeah i think what I, was yeah. what was the highest price that you pay for a box of masks ten dollars <laughs> my mom paid for a mask one mask so it is it is that is the well people were taking advantage of the need for them not to give the right cost to the product right i remember that i bought a bottle of alcohol uh, alcohol uh, 70 in 15 dollars Fifteen dollars. <laughs> and now when I saw them in, in, in one of these dollar stores, it was one dollar fifty. 
<laughs> and it was like stores. yeah and that was like um, they 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 took my money I said. <laughs> and i pay 15 dollars for a box of masks as well <sighs> my god so we were completely bajados at the <laughs> beginning of covid <laughs> and imagine el que el que vendió mascarillas al principio del covid with the money right now <laughs> But it, it, that is a very good example of this number uh, six, right? It was not the right cost. And the last one, Mr. Danny, solo para que no se duerma, help me to read it. <laughs> the right quantity. Uh, right quantity. Determining and knowing the correct quantity is one of the most important things in logistic service as most service providers are the dear party. Consequently, our consequently. Company, consequently, all companies that deal with the most verified that the appropriate quantities of product to be delivered or sent. Okay, I am going to read it back. And it says, determining and knowing the correct quantity is one of the most important things in logistic services. As most service providers are a third party, right? They are like a, a third person in the process. Consequently, all companies that deal with them must verify that the appropriate quantities of products to, the, to be delivered are sent. What was the problem with Manuel? He was supposed to receive a quantity of perfume who never received. What happened to teacher Nati? She was supposed to receive a specific size of, of purse that she never received. When you saw the pupusas there in, in the app, they were very big. But when they arrived to your house, they were very, very small, small, right? You saw the big bottle of curtido there in the, in the pupuseria. And when you arrived to your house, it was just a little bag like this. Yeah, but, yes. And you have to pay extra dollars if you want extra sauce. So it's like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it's not the right quantity. It's not the correct quantity, right? You say like, give me a cheese pupusa. And they say like, only cheese, $1. And they put just a little piece of cheese inside the pupusa. And then it's like, and this tortilla, <laughs> what happened here? Right? It's not the right quantity, right? Give me a cheese and loroco pupusa. Only one loroco in the pupusa. So that it's not. This is taking advantage of the customer and not using the right price, the right cost, and for sure, not the right quantity. Good. Come back at this pupusa. You will never come back to this pupusa's place. So here we cover the seven R's in logistics, right? The right product, the right customer, time, place, condition, quantity, and for sure, the cost. Based on this one, we can go back here. I don't know if you have your manual at hand. We are going to go there. Here, as you can see, we have the first questions that uh, I was showing to you. What are the responsibilities of a, logist, a logistician, right? Basically, he is responsible about almost everything <laughs> because he has to take care of every single detail on the logistic process. I have here Alex and Pam. I am going to give you different words and if you find them on the conversation, read the sentence, ¿ok? Le voy a dar una palabra de la conversación. Si la encuentran, lean la oración donde está, ¿ok? Ready? The word is correctly. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the correct... correct no, words. listen, listen. ¿Dónde está la palabra? Correctly. One of the greatest and the batteries are the match. Okay, they are not handled correctly. La palabra, the next word is website. 
The next one, the word is temperature. We have to inform the, them of the right storage temperature. Very good. What about the next one? Manufacturer. I will call them personally to request for the I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. What about the next one? Sales. Sales will go down this month. This month. Down there was. Okay, the next one. The next one. It is the word crates. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. Very good. The last one. It's the word. Chen, chen, chen. The word between. Read the conversation. Very good. Yeah, you are on the spot. That's very nice. That's very nice. What is the name of the men? Alex. Alex. Alex, what is the name of the lady? Pam. 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 What is the main problem of the conversation? Order form. Uh, about, about some issues with the order forms. Okay. And the distribution centers. Okay. And uh, are they talking face to face? No, they no. are talking by chat. Or they are they are chatting, life. right? They are chatting. Okay, I told you, like, what is the problem? And you identify it because you were scanning the conversation. When you were looking for the different words, you were like, da, 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 da. and you were reading unconsciously, but you were reading. And you said, like, hey, si sí sabía cuál era el problema. Y no he leído la conversación en detalle. So that is a very good strategy when you want to know like the main idea of something. You quick scan it and then you get the idea. We have the conversation about Alex and Pam and it says, sales will go down this month. Sales will go down this month, Pam. There was a problem with the order forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Sales will go down this month, Pam. Go with me. Sales will go down this month. Sales will go down this month, Pam. There was a problem with the order forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Distribution. 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 Okay, remember what we talked about last week. Okay, si vamos a pasar un detalle, si lo vamos a comunicar, lo tenemos que comunicar con el sentimiento que se comunica. No le vamos a decir, Pam, ¡Ah, you know, sales will go down this month. Yay! No, right? Say, Pam. It's a fantastic idea. It's a fantastic idea. We are not going to make money. Woohoo! Very happy. No, right? Imagine the, the person in sales. Imagine el que gana por venta. <laughs> you would be like, come on. <laughs> hey, amiguito, come on. Sales will go down this month, Pam. You know, there was a problem with the order forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. There was a problem with the order forms from the website distribution centers. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> For sure, not right. Oh no! Please oh, call no. the managers oh, yeah. from the distribution centers. 
Please call the, the manager of the distribution center, center. 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 that receive our battery. Batteries. Batteries. Receive our batteries. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please call the managers from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please call the manager from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. Received. 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 No, right. Received. 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 We have received. to inform them of the right storage temperature. We have, we have to inform them of the, right the right storage temperature. temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. I already did. There is something I have to tell you. But there is something I have to tell you. But there is something I have to tell you. Okay. When you receive a phrase like this, cuando reciban una frase como esta, como I have something to tell you, it's like be prepared. <laughs> it's like when someone says, we need to talk. It's like, uh, mostly if it is your wife or your husband, right? We need to talk. I have the right answer for this. Cuando llegue y le diga, uh, uh, Nati, tenemos que hablar. The answer should be, sí, en efecto, quería hablar contigo. Mm -hmm. That's the strategy. <laughs> so you don't feel that bad, right? And the other person is going to be like, I have to think. I have to tell you something, right? Ah, oh, yeah, me too. I have something to tell you as well. You first. <laughs> you first. Oh, no. <laughs> One of the crates was not handled correctly, and the batteries are damaged, right? The crates are the ones that you have, like, the bulk. One of the crates was not handled correctly, and the batteries are damaged. I will call you personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. I will call you personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. They will know what to do. They will know what to do. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Uh, we I will call, call them, them personally to request for the damaged batteries. They will know what to do. Let's they see. I am going to go back here with. Let me see. Rosa Beatriz, you are going to be Pam and I am Alex. Ready, Rosa? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. You know, sales will go down this month. There was a problem with the order forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh, no. Please call the managers from the distribution centers that receive our batteries, we have to inform them of the right storage center. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. Um, one of the crates, you know, was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Ah, thank you very much. That relieves me a lot. I can go back to my place. Thank you, boss. Bye. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Rosa. Very good job. Very good job. You are a very good boss. You are a very, very good boss. I am going to call my boss, eh, <laughs> Diana. <laughs> Hey, don't, don't be angry, Diana. I have something to tell you. I'm not mad today. <laughs> she, she is a very good boss today. Um. You know, uh, boss, uh, I have to tell you that sales will go down this month. Uh, there was a problem with the orders 
with the order forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the managers from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, uh, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and all the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Thank you very much, boss. You are a very kind person today. <laughs> Thank you very much, Diana, very nice. Now, Miss Rocio, call your boss, uh, Mr. Miguel Dominguez. Okay. Miguel, Miguel, you are Pam and let me see. Rocio, you are Alex. Okay. <sighs> Sales will go down this month, Pam. There was a problem with the order form from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no. Please call the manager from the distribution center that received 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 receive all batteries we have to inform them of the right storage temperature 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 i already did but there is something i have to tell you one of the crates was not handled cor correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call the personally to request for the damage. Damage. Batteries. Damage. Batteries. Damage. Damage batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. To the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much my dear participants. I have here three specific questions. What caused the products to be delivered to the wrong distribution centers? I need you to write the answer. What happened to the products? And who will Pam call to receive the damaged products? Right, I have here the three questions. And it says, what caused the products to be delivered to the wrong distribution centers? What happened to their products? Who will Palm call to receive the damaged products? And these answers for sure, you are going to find them here in the conversation. So please, I need you to give me complete answers, okay? Not only yes, no, or this is correct, or this is wrong. I need you to write complete answers, okay? What caused the products to be delivered to the run distribution center? What happened to the products? And who will Pam call to receive the damaged products? Write the answer on your notebook, complete the answers. The problem was with the order form from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution center. Okay, what caused the products to be delivered to the wrong distribution centers? The, uh, what caused this one? The problem with the order forms. The order right? form. the there lesson. was a problem with the order forms. That is the cause. What caused the products to be delivered to the wrong distribution centers? The problem no. was the problem with was the order, with the order forms. forms. Yes. One of the craves was not handled correctly. One of the um, craves was not handled correctly. And the batteries are damaged. And the batteries are damaged, right? That is the answer for the second one. And who will Palm call to receive the damaged products? To the who? manufacturer. She is going to call the manufacturer. The manufacturer. 
Okay, it says, please call the managers from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. batteries. We have to inform them uh, of the right storage. I already did, he says, but, I, but there is something I want to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally. Who is she going to call? To request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. Okay, it says, please call the managers from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, he says, but there is something I have to tell you. There was one of the crates who was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally. Cuando ella dice, yo lo voy a llamar personalmente. They are, she's going to call the managers. the managers. Right, she's going to call the managers. Because he says, I already did, right? I already did, it's like, si ya le llamé yo, right? But in this case, as it is a bigger damage, you say, I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer, okay? What are they going to send to the manufacturer? The batteries. batteries. The, batteries. the batteries. All the batteries. Damage. The damage. No, only the damage batteries. Only the damage batteries, right? And what are they going to inform to the managers? What are they going to inform to the managers? The right storage the right temperature. Right? The right storage temperature. <clears throat> and they say, like, I already did. And they are going to solve it later on because I already solved the issue. So let me just, uh, before I forget, I am going to go over the second attendance. And we're going to go on over the final example of the class that we are going to work together. Let me call out the attendance and we continue. Porque el otro ejercicio nos va a tomar un poquito más de tiempo. Let's see. Carolina Yamilet. Present. Claudia María. Present teacher. Cristian Natalie. Present teacher. Diana Elizabeth. Here. Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Jose Carlos. Present teacher. Jose Rodrigo. Present teacher. Juan de Dios. Present. Linda Ivette. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio. I'm still here. <laughs> I am here. Is it Maria de Noveva? Present. Miguel Ángel. Present. Nelson Gabarrete. Present teacher. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Olga Merlene. Olguita. Olguita, where are you? Hey, she was just here. Okay. Eh, Rocio Veronica. Present. Thank you very much. Eh, Rosa Beatriz. Present. Silvia. Present. Tatiana Michelle. Present teacher. Bill Maivet. Present. Marlene Nicole. Here. Omar Francisco. Present. And Danny Anthony. Present. Still, still alive. <laughs> Danny, go ahead. So, let's go here. In your manual, you have this specific place here. I am going to make it a little bit bigger with different situations of the seven R's, right? We have here that we have the right product, the right place, the right customer, the right quantity, the right condition, the right time, and the right price. The cases that I present you right here, what is the first case that we have? Let me see, I am going to share it to all of you. Okay, here it is. The first case that we have uh, presented, it's about Amazon and it says, Amazon must ensure products are delivered within two days. 
if the customer can get it within two days from some other company. And it says, let's read it again. Amazon must ensure products are delivered within two days. If the customer can get it within two days from some other company. What do you think this right is? is right it time. Right? Right time. Right place. Right, right time. time. Okay, I'm going to write okay. it here. Right time. Right time. Yes. Right time. Okay, I am going to leave it there. Vamos a ver después. The next one. The, the one with Dell. Dell must have a strict controls and processes to ensure the products, uh, to ensure that products ordered on their website are delivered to the right locations. The right place. Right place. Right place. Right place. Right place. Right place. The right place. What about the next one? Grocers have uh, has to meet quantity requirements from their customers and ensure that the quantity of products is not affected by perishability. Right quantity. Right, quantity. right condition. Right quantity. Right, right quantity. Right quantity. Has to meet quantity requirements from their customers. So this is. And then write quantity and ensure that the quantity of products is not affected by perishability or that you have enough uh, products for everybody. It says write quantity. Okay, we have the right quantity. A local ketchup, a local ketchup manufacturer may sell ketchup to retailers in package and label bottles and to bulk consumer in big cans. Right condition. Right condition. Okay, do you say that this is a right condition? Right condition. Mm -hmm. like, uh huh. You say a right condition. Okay. Samsung must ensure that their mobiles are charged with the corresponding prices to retailer stores and customers. Right cost. Right price. Right. Right price or right, right cost? Right, right cost. Right. Mm -hmm. right cost or right price. What about the next one? Products that the customer needs either today or in the future. Right product. Right product, right? Products that they might need. And it says a right product. Right product. And the last one. It says, HUL has to guarantee that sufficient amounts of products are available in the warehouse to ensure right time delivered to the customer. Right customer. Right. Quantity. Okay. Right. Right. Okay, we have right condition. <laughs> you have. HUL has to guarantee that sufficient amounts of products are available in the warehouse to ensure the right time delivery to the customers. Right quantity. Right quantity. Right. 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 Which one is the one that you are missing? Right. Right condition, teacher. Okay. Well, let's, let's see. I have here the other ones. Let's check. In this one, we have right price. This one is correct, right? This one is correct, the right price. The right condition, mm, it says, a local ketchup manufacturer may sell ketchup to retailers in package and label bottles and to a bulk of customers in big cans. This is the right, hey, the right customer. This is the right customer. Right. The right customer. Right quantity, it's correct. The right place, it's okay. This is right conditions, right? Because as others receive it in two days, you have to be sure that you receive it as well in two days. So this is the right condition. This is not right time. This is right condition, right place, right quantity, right customer. Okay, so in this case, we have right product, that's correct. And the last one will be then, Right time. Right time. The right time. 
right? This one is the right time because we have to receive it in the available moment for sure. We have to ensure the right time delivery to the customers. So in this case, the only one that we were missing was this one, right? right the right I condition. Right right and you are going to find this exercise as well. I am going to go back here for you to start doing your homework today, okay? okay. Para que empiecen a hacer ahora su tarea, vamos a ir a este lado. Okay, we are going to go to the homework. This is the first homework, exactly the one that we just did, right? This is the first homework that you are going to find on the platform for unit number two. Ay, teacher, no sé cuál era, right? Amazon must ensure products are delivered within two days. It was? Right time, right condition. Right, right condition. condition. The next one. Dell must have a strict controls and process that ensure the products are ordered and delivered to the right locations. Right, right, right place. place. They, are right, they are delivered to the right location, to the right place. 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 Right, place. right place. Okay. Please and read. Uh, okay, lo acabamos de hacer por aquí. This is the right place. Grocers have, the grocer has to meet quantity requirements from their customers and ensure that the quantity of products is not affected by perishability. Right quantity. Right quantity. Right quantity. You have it there, right? Right quantity. The next one. The local ketchup manufacturer. It's right. going to sell <laughs> retailers package in label bottles and uh, bulk customer in big in big cans. This is the right, right. customer. Right. customer. Si lo voy a vender al detalle, la botella es chiquita. Si la voy a vender en grande, la lata es grande. So no le va a vender al, al que compra el mayoreo, le va a vender un montón de latitas chiquitas. It's like mm -hmm. the right customer, the right product. And the next one. Samsung must ensure that their mobiles are charged with the corresponding prices to the retailer stores and customers. Right, right, price. Price. Right, price. Okay. This is a little bit of the topic that we're going to study tomorrow. Let's check on the sentences that we just started right now and here we go the first ones that we did for sure remember and go and do your homework today okay ya cubrimos la primera parte de la tarea para que no me digan no sé no me acordé we covered the first homework today okay and we are going to practice in order to finish our class a couple of sentences. We're going to practice a couple of sentences with some specific phrases. Here, Mr. Danny, can you read sentence number one with the correct expression of certainty? Okay. Uh, I well don't like to say this, but uh, no, for certain. For certain. But, for certain. But we may need to change our distributor. Okay, let's go and practice this sentence correctly. It says, I wouldn't like to say this for certain. It's like, de verdad que no me gustaría decirte eso. I wouldn't like to say this for certain. But we may need to change our distributors. We may need to change our distributors, right? Practice with me. I wouldn't like to say this for certain. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like, I wouldn't like, like to time. say this for certain. But we might need to change our distributors. But, but, but we, we may need, need, need our distributors. To change our distributors. To change our distributors. But we may need to change our distributors. 
We may change our distributors. Distributors. No, did the, did the manager, manager finish evaluating the three pillars available? Not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge. What is the meaning of not to my knowledge? No, que yo sepa. No, exactly no, like that. No, 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 mi conocimiento, it is not like that. It's like, no, que yo sepa. Not to my knowledge. It's like, no, not to my knowledge. Right? Who ate the last pupusa that I had in the refrigerator? Mm, not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge. <laughs> not to my knowledge. Not to it's my like, knowledge. I don't know. I'm with a piece of pupusa. It here. is instead <laughs> of, I don't know. With a in there. This is better than, I don't know, exactly. With a piece of pupusa here. Not to my knowledge. I'm... <laughs> not to my knowledge. It is a lot better <laughs> for you not to say, I don't know. Right, this is a little bit more complete. It is a little bit more complete than saying like, hmm? I don't know, right? No, it's better to say, not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge. I don't really know anything. What about the next one? Carolina, help me with number three. Read the uh, phrase first. I don't, it is effective to hire more than one to your fair gender party. Logistics service. I doubt. I doubt. It is effective. I doubt. I doubt it is effective to hire more than one third party logistics service. To hire more than one third party logistics survey. Do you consider? Do you consider that it's correct to have? more than two people creating logistics? Not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge, right? <laughs> I already know, very good use of the sentence. What <laughs> happens when you have two people trying to be the leader at the same time? It's complicated. Teacher. It is complicated <laughs> because you don't know which one to follow, right? I say blue, I say red, I say white, you see? <laughs> and you never know which one to follow. So it says like, I doubt, I doubt it is effective. So it's like, mm, it's not a good idea, I doubt. And what about number four, Mr. Jose Carlos, help me with number four. Okay. To the best of my knowledge, we have increased customer satisfaction. Okay. Satisfaction, like the song. <clears throat> Satisfaction. Gotcha. Satisfaction. Do you remember the song? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> to the best of my knowledge, we have increased customer satisfaction. To the best Thanks. of my knowledge, we have increased customer satisfaction. We have increased. Okay. To the best of my knowledge, we have increased customer satisfaction. To the best of my knowledge, what will be the translation of this one? To the best of my knowledge, we have increased customer satisfaction. What will be the equivalent of this one? To the best of my knowledge. Hasta donde yo sé. Exactly like that, right? Hasta donde yo sé. We have increased I'm customer saying. satisfaction. To the best of my knowledge, <clears throat> we have increased customer satisfaction. To the best of my knowledge, we are going to receive Aguinaldo in September. <laughs> really? <Yeah>. Really? <laughs> you think that? <laughs> mm, I doubt. You say, I doubt it. <laughs> mm, not to my knowledge, you say. I don't really know. It's a fake news, teacher. <laughs> What about the last one? The last of the sentences. Everybody, go ahead. One, two, three. It is very unlikely for a small company to require 
Logistic Global Services. So imagine if you have um, a tortillas place, are you going to hire Logistic Global Services? Yeah. No. If you, if you have the access, do it, right? <laughs> but it is very unlikely, right? Es muy poco probable. It is very unlikely for a small company to require logistic global services. So it's like, mm, I don't think it is good, right? I don't think it is good for the company. So my dear students, mm -hmm. your homework now is to go and fulfill all the Wait. details of <laughs> homework one, okay? Ahí les queda ya, ya trabajamos la primera tarea juntos. So it is on you just to complete it, right? Ya la analizamos, ya la leímos, ya la completamos. So let's go and work on it. Thank you very much for being here. It was a pleasure for me to serve you once again. And I am going to stay today with my one-on-one, -on -one, that is Mr. Jose Carlos. Okay. Nice. Have a beautiful night, my dear students, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next. Thank class. you, teacher. Bye. Tomorrow, good night. Okay. Bye. 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 You okay. feel like when you go to the principal's office on the one-on-one. -on -one. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Mr. Danny. Bye, Genoveva. A beautiful Bye. night. Bye-bye. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Jose Carlos, okay. it's a pleasure to have you here. You know, you look very young on the camera. Yeah. You look but... like a, when, when I saw you on the, on the sofa, the way you were sitting, you look like a teenager. <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> I, <laughs> I percent of my co-workers said the same however i am almost 30 years you are almost 30 yeah i have a 20 i am i am i am i am yes really and uh, and mm. you feel old it is not you are completely so, come on <laughs> no, <laughs> exactly on my 37 <laughs> yeah no but you look yeah. you no, look very percent. young yeah but I start a confusion algunos de compañeros dicen man te ves como de 30 y otros dicen no te ves 30 te ves 25 no no and you say because, like I am very young yeah because for my position or my job because I'm the boss from my department <laughs> so yeah, but yeah. that's the, the, it is what it is Ah. Uh, I am the I am the boss from the I don't know how to say in English. In español es la unidad de administración tributaria municipal. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and my co-workers have a lot of time of being working over there. They have been working oh man since <laughs> 19 something oh, before, just before to be honest. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> No, 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 no. Wait, wait a minute. She said 1985. 1985. I, I was the... just born. <laughs> yeah. And they, they yeah, have they around have... 36 years. Seven. Yeah, six and seven. 36 and 37 years work over oh there. Oh, my so, God. Yeah, so since the last five years to here, and the boss from... Uh, there are three of them that oh. were oh, man, they just are in the inventory. Oh my god, <laughs> they have a barcode, yeah. right? They... Yes. Okay. And by the other hand, teacher, let me tell you something on the that other I was hand. on the, on other, the hand. other hand. Let me tell you that I have working really hard, even though on on night, but that was because I have two jobs. However, oh, really? My, yes. However, my boss from not from the mayor, it's my other job, my other boss. Mm -hmm. He he's going to be he will go out oh, by uh -huh. one month. So 
from tomorrow on, I will be all the time in the class and I will pay more close attention I... because <laughs> I have, I, I just know that I have any mistake the last class and the last week. That's why, because I have been working even though all night. And so I, sometimes I connected 20 minutes later. After, later, yeah. And that's the reason. But from tomorrow on, I will be connected the whole class and I'm going to pay close attention because I need to practice my English. Not because I see myself working in English, but my it is wife. Necessary. Yes, because my wife is a. Uh, is a chef. She's graduated on that. Ooh. And so she speaks English as well. And so we have a daughter. And so our idea is to use to speak English all the time. In our only, house. only in English to speak yeah, only English in your house. Yeah, that's the reason why I'm here. Them are my motivation. So you remember, not that's because nice. I, I like a lot of English. However, I need to practice because I don't want to keep out from their conversation definitely because, yes so that, you don't have you don't want to be left aside así es la frase you don't okay. want to be left aside no quiero que me hagan sentir a un lado yes exactly because and how old, she, how old is she my daughter or my yeah. wife no your daughter. My daughter <laughs> my daughter is 20 months already ah yeah she's a she's, baby she's a little she has started to speak However, she use she knows many words in English, and so I say, "Wow, man, I need to practice because." <laughs> yeah. No, know. but that is that is very good, Jose Carlos. And because of that, uh, we have these specific moments with you, right? For you to express your ideas, how you feel in classes, if there is something specific that you need help with, because I mean that's the that's the main purpose of this moment to have these one-on-one -on -one sessions, to know the purpose of your learning, to know the purpose of you being here, and for sure, to know if you are having difficulties with something specific, or if you want me to help you with something specific. I don't have a problem with something specific. I have problem maybe with all. <laughs> <laughs> with all, <laughs> come on. Yeah. yeah. And maybe but... the main issue for you, it's the time. Yes, yes, the time, but from tomorrow on, I will be connected the whole the whole time. I will okay. be on time tomorrow. And what about the platform? Yeah. Do you have any problem with the platform? Any difficulty no, to work no, no, there? No, 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 uh, no, no, I did all my homework from last week and everything oh. was fine. I don't have any, any wrong with that. Any Everything's problem? Any okay, problem. and something specific, Mr. Jose Carlos, that you want to improve and that you need help with that? And maybe talking the past, the talk, talking past, past tense. Yes. Yes. You know, I I I have seen I have seen the complete group, right? I have in this week that we have together, I have listened to the complete group, and most of most of the students have issues with the past tense. Yes, most of them don't, so don't use it correctly and most of you have difficulties at the moment of expressing yourselves in the past tense so i am going to dedicate all this week to share material uh, for you to practice the past tense Thank i am you. going to share material for you to practice the speaking for you to practice reading for you to refresh a little bit on the verbs because many of you, right? No es solo usted, José Carlos, lo he oído en general okay. en todo el grupo que sí tenemos mucha dificultad con el past tense and expressing yeah. ideas on past tense. Today, for example, it was a very good example. The, the word I choose, say like I chose, and I was yeah. correct in the I chose, I chose. And yeah. it was a very basic thing. So yes. I am going to work on this during this week. This, that's my, my goal for the week to be sending a specific material for the past tense. And for Thank sure, you. I have a couple of practices that I am going to be including in class that are going to help you with exactly with the need that you have right now to be okay, practicing the past tense, right? Okay. And any other topic that you want to improve? Talking, fluency, past tense, what else? Mm. Let me tell you. Maybe 
the past tense. The, that is the, my real. <laughs> that tense. is the most important for me. Okay, the most yeah. important issue that we have is past tense. Okay, past Jose tense. Carlos. So for me, it's going to be uh, my main goal for this week to refresh that topic for you and for the group. Okay. Thank you. So uh, thank you. Thank I you. am going to work on that. If there isn't anything else okay, that I can you. assist you with, we are going to stop here. And so you can go and see your baby and your wife for sure. Okay. And uh, so, you, Jose thank Carlos, you. thank you for these minutes that you gave me. Have a beautiful night. And I am going to thank see you, you tomorrow thank in you. class on time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. See you. See you. Have a beautiful you, night. Thank you, Jose Carlos. Okay. Good night. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you.